I am a big fan of books that incorporate the occult and weirdness into their stories. Whether it's fantasy or horror or fiction, this book that we're going to talk about today, Silver Nitrate by Silvia Moreno Garcia, it's about film, the occult, and magic. And the way it's written, it was interesting from the get-go as we dive deeper and deeper in. So silver nitrate was something that used to be used in films back in the day, and silver has highly magical properties. Also, silver nitrate was highly flammable, so it's not used <laughs> anymore today, but back in the day it was. And the way it brought film to life on the screen, the shadows were deeper, like everything just felt more visceral and real. This whole book centers around this film that was made back in the day. The main characters are Montserrat, and she is a sound editor, and then her best friend, I would say he's her best friend, Tristan. He's an actor and they grew up together and have known each other since they were kids. At one point, Tristan has just moved into this new apartment building and he meets this guy, Abel Ureta, who used to be an old film producer. They were aware of his work and some of his films that he did in horror and he had this film that was never released called Beyond the Yellow Door. They get to know him and then they find out more of the backstory behind this film that was being made and the people involved in it and how it was being made because this guy, William Ewers, who was a a cultist and unfortunately a Nazi who, you know, believed people with pale skin to be superior to others and a really horrible person. And he had this cult following and he believed that film was a medium for spell casting and the more people that would see it, their energy would charge it like a battery, making it more powerful. But what happens is he ends up being mugged and he was killed. The film was never completed. It seemed like everyone who worked on this film was cursed. And so Montserrat and Tristan become friends with Abel and Abel convinces them that they need to complete the spell, complete the circuit. If they do that, it's supposed to change their luck and make things good for them. They don't really believe it and they're like, oh, this old, older man, he seems kind of sad and alone. And they figure they'll just humor him because it can't be real, right? No. So they go ahead and they do this and it unleashes a can of worms and the craziness starts happening. Some of the people that are still around that were involved in the film back in the day start coming into the picture and they do not seem very happy at all all. It seems like maybe the cult of Ewers is maybe still around and it's freaking wild. I absolutely love this book. It was entrancing. It was really well written. I read it in like two days. I love the story. I really like the characters. I liked the magical elements of it and they get into like some of the occult background talking about Aleister Crowley and Jack Parsons and Golden Dawn, Moon Children and all this weird stuff. And so like a lot of that background and what they talk about that has to do with the cult is actually stuff in reality that these people were into. Tying in these threads of stuff that people believed in and whatnot and bringing in the occult stuff, it has that like weirdly on the edge of reality kind of vibe going on and I loved it. I have only read one of her other books, which was The Daughter of Dr. Moreau. And I thought it was all right, but this one is awesome. So if you like books that are about the film industry, and this took place in the 90s. I want to say it was like the early 90s. I feel like I remember the date 1993 being mentioned. Film industry, early 90s in Mexico, weird occult stuff happening, magic, mayhem. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to read. If you're a fan of horror books, the next video coming up will be about another horror book. So stick around, check it out. And if you had fun hanging out today, hit that subscribe button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.